Hello Trophy Hunters and uh, welcome to my guide for Knit Night Trials in Sackboy. I will just try to talk about how I did it and uh, what was my strategy and try to explain some of the sequence, uh, sequences that I did. So basically my main strategy from the beginning was uh, to do the first 5 or 6 levels as fast as I can so I can just take it slower in the end. Uh, why? Well, in the, in the beginning the first levels are really quite easy if you practice them, if you uh, try to learn them uh, the right way. So you can really uh, save a lot of time in the beginning of the, of the challenge and uh, then towards the end uh, you can do always uh, fast sequence but towards the end you would want to slow it a bit and uh, take a more careful approach. So uh, basically... Uh, the most important thing that I want to say first is uh, you need to watch this video until the end. Why? Well, uh, a lot of people that I see are struggling because they are rushing and are going too fast into this challenge. Uh, because they think that they won't have enough time in the end. In the end you have a lot of clocks. Uh, basically you can save one to one and a half minute uh, in the end. So if you come uh, with 10 or 11 uh, minutes mark in the end, but carefully, you will probably uh, still uh, be able to get a trophy for this challenge. Uh, as you can see here, that here is nothing much difficult, that is why, why I am not explaining a lot uh, in this sequence, just trying to move on through these uh, levels. Uh, so yeah, just don't rush and uh, try to uh, try to carefully approach uh, the last levels because uh, basically the middle part is the hardest part. The middle part will start from the next uh, sequence. Uh, in the beginning it is quite easy and then in the end it is quite easier uh, for you, uh, easier levels uh, where you really don't need to worry a lot uh, about uh, enemies or something else. So yeah, and this is my worst nemesis, this sequence here. I was struggling a lot. Uh, I think my brain maybe is not uh, having a good perception when the tiles are going up or down. So uh, if you are uh, also having a struggle with this level, just take it slowly. As you will see in about uh, 12, 20 seconds, I am just going to jump, uh, no rolling, not, uh, not anything. Uh, risky so just to, uh, to try to finish this uh, sequence and to move to the next one uh, probably for everybody the most difficult sequence is the crab one uh, sea life uh, challenge but you will see uh, i have a i think easy getaway uh, easy solution for that level uh, once i learned that uh, solution i was able to pass it 90 percent of the time without any consequences so yeah uh, here just uh, run through the level uh, don't pick every clock as you can see i'm not even picking a lot of clocks because not every every clock is worth it in the beginning as i was saying i was just rushing through the levels to get the fastest time and you can just be much much faster if you just roll uh, with your stack boy and not uh, if you're not only uh, going to pick some clocks because if you're going to pick some clocks you are going to lose some time here is the tricky part but on the second ledge you just uh, jump and stay in the middle air for some time so here comes the biggest sequence just wait for the first crab to go jump over him jump over next one and now roll now wait for the next one to go uh, right just two jump sequences without any risk pick up the clock here wait for him uh, ideally wait for him but i was uh, I, I had a chance here so i just went for it so here just do not rush do not uh, as you can see i almost made a mistake that uh, cost me my life uh, do not rush go right pick up the clock and on this next turn always go left left is a lifesaver my guys uh, this is a uh, very easy and they go uh, in your direction and it is very very doable here i did take a pause i recommend for you to also take a pause uh, why just to get, uh, gather yourself a bit uh, maybe remember the sequence remember uh, how you need to approach to this uh, level and now move on uh, 
this is also very this was very also tricky part for me but what i did uh, uh, to learn everything uh, i tried to repeat every level at least four times before taking on challenge uh, as soon as i thought that i could um, clear the level without any without any trouble i uh, went back to the trials here always take the left path and now just roll 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 and go back if you have trouble and uh, okay so basically this is a uh, still a middle part but you are uh, almost over to it and it will come the easier part very soon uh, if you're having a trouble with spikes just practice i i really don't have any good advice for you uh, just practice and uh, be patient uh, at this time as you can see i'm at five minute mark uh, it is a uh, it is 10th trial out of 15 and I am at 5 minute mark so not, do not worry just uh, I'm even maybe going too fast here you can just take it very slow as you can see in the end that is why it is important to watch uh, this video if you want to learn it of course until the very end always go to the last one so you can knock it out go here to the shortcut and now just uh, jump all over the these balloons I think uh, here wait a bit until they shoot them and now jump uh, also wait and now jump uh, okay just uh, jump all over them and then after that first go left and then go right immediately pick up the clock and just roll over to the next ledge wait for it and now roll over down just jump uh, take it calmly here you are almost at the end and here is the best example of how much time you have as you will see in this uh, sequence i just took my time sometimes i wanted to finish the level you don't need to rush it because those spikes uh, are not very greatly designed uh, sometimes you are not even close to them and they can they can just spike you so you will die or you can even fall uh, here the best advice is just to wait uh, go along with the rhythm of the ledges and just jump to the safest things that you see or if you maybe see that you can jump somewhere jump it but no need to rush you are still still as you can as you can see at seven minute mark and uh, here comes the easier part uh, some of you won't agree with me but uh, these parts uh, if you just practice them solo in uh, solo trials you won't have any trouble with that in this uh, sequence i just rolled 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 uh, i did uh, some mistake i think here but i rolled a lot and uh, i did find here for me personally that if i go as ma as fast as i can as you can see i just uh, jumped too early i found in this sequence if i go as fast as i can i can do it uh, very good if i'm taking slowly slowly i am just uh, thinking too much i'm thinking oh maybe he comes here maybe he comes there i'm just rolling going fast and uh, uh, do, i don't have enough time to think and make a mistake and now take it very slow very slow you don't need to rush you st you, st you, you have only one and one more level to finish jump right jump in the middle jump after that wait and jump great so here also do not rush as you can see i am on my uh, last life uh, so i need to be careful now go left immediately go right do not let them uh, spike you be careful take it careful approach and here also wait wait and uh, when you have opportunity roll go left and roll now wait also always wait always wait until it is very clear for you to go You can take the right path and just roll and now and now just jump and you are over with this sequence now wait wait for the middle go to the middle now go to the right and go to the right again now again go to the left and again to the left jump and wait 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 do not rush you are almost over in the middle wait just be careful here you have maybe five seconds until the end Now roll, roll as fast as you can and jump. And now jump and you are done. Uh, you are done. 9 uh, minutes and 39 seconds. Uh, why are you done? 
you now have a sequence where you have a lot of clocks as you can see just pick the clocks uh, watch the time but pick the clocks be careful on the ledges uh, do not uh, rush anything be careful just to finish the game there are no enemies you are here the enemy to yourself only so uh, as you can see a lot of clocks you can really, uh, even save a lot of time I, i'm even not picking i'm not risking with those clocks that are giving you five seconds uh, mark so uh, just be careful and uh, that will be it if i did annoy you with my voice i am very sorry you can always mute the tone <laughs> and also if this guide could help you and will help you with this uh, challenge that is very very hard uh, hard in my opinion uh, i would like for you if you if you want uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video so it can help you, help me with my youtube so yeah as you can see almost under nine minutes now just a ride until the end pass the end and now we will get the we will get the trophy and yes that is it very hard trial i must say and uh, for some of uh, us a platinum breaker but i believe in you and uh, you can do it